ever settled down. Are you the one sent by Mara? Twice. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you? Are you the one sent by Mara? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards, and my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. Oh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to have someone around who understands. Have you spoken to my parents yet? Please, my love depends on it. daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverston? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine and needs some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Have you spoken to my Nothing parents? Nothing for anyone here. Please. My love depends on it. Pilgrimer, you must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastra to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Marcianus is still so terrified of Yoththor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. What did you call me? Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Ismir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Oh, did you 
many places, but sometimes it's better to believe. Faster, I have something to say to you. Clinic? What is it? I don't want you to leave Iberstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clemic. Hey, good to see you again. Good to see you again. Good Be talking something? to you. Mm -hmm. I hope the road brings you adventure, Chama. Welcome to the Bellamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? I'm bored. If you Nobody fancy a bit of music, let me know. No, I'm sorry. You must have me mistaken for someone else. I've never even heard that name before. Please, I beg you, don't tell Sibi where I am. He'll kill me. Sibi's been spreading lies about me. You must hear me out. Sibi and I were to be married. We were supposed to be happy together forever. Then I found that wretched poetry from Svana. When I confronted Sibi about it, he threatened to kill me. I was scared, so I told my brother Wulfur. He went to talk to Sibi for me and... and... Sibi killed him. My brother wasn't even armed. When I heard what Sibi did, I fled. And now you've found me. And you're going to tell him where I am. A pleasant journey, my lady. Is it absolutely net? You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Iverstead is a very <sighs> tranquil village. What a village. boring conversation. In his obsession, Daraki had not noticed its simple May beauty. the gods watch over your battles, friend. I wonder what Here, happens take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men the came by and left this bounty letter. All right, pipe down! You want the whole blessed place to hear you? The arrangement called for a trade. I hope you'll find this suitable. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long it's way down. It's a fine down. day with you. Around. Iverstead is a very tranquil village. In his You're someone who can get things Daraki done. Had not I like noticed that. its simple beauty. Hi there. Another blade at your side, just ask. Lead the way. Delphine wasn't kidding when she said this place needed tidying up. That's what happens when you leave a home to dust and age. Although I think most of this mess can't be more than a week old. Someday. If I had to take a guess, I'd say it was Delphine herself that made it. As Ben's too bookish to be tossing things around on the floor like a skeever. Not that I'd ever cross Delphine. Oh no, a delicate flower like me has no business talking back to someone with such big feet. 
I'm bound to get trampled. And then poor Esben wouldn't have anything to stare at. Well, other than that delightful little wall. No? Are you a broom? Well, if you are, you're upside down. The bristles go on the floor, sweetie. And they say I'm the one who's mad. Well, not the kind of mad where it need to be locked in a dungeon or anything like that. Just the sort of mad where no one would believe me if I said there were a bunch of elderly dragon slayers living in a temple behind a giant face. Well, for one, because she needs me. Someone has to wash all the pots and plates, sweep the floors and change poor Esben's sheets. And I owed her for letting me stay at her inn in Riverwood after I left my first husband. Or did he leave me? Sometimes I forget who did what. Delphine offered to put me up at half the rate. I didn't like it at first. Whole thing smelled fishier than a Thalmor's politics. Like most folks, I hid my gold for a rainy day. I did it hoping I'd never need it but knowing I someday might. Only when that time came, I forgot where I put it. And by the time I remembered, I heard a dragon burn the city to the ground. That's why I don't really like dragons. Me and the folk here share that in common. Oh no, I haven't taken the oath. You never want to take an oath, child. The person who gives it might whisper something at the end, in a voice so low, only the dogs can hear it. Right before you say, I do. Next thing you know, you've sworn an oath to be their personal love slave. Not a chance. I told myself the last time that was never happening again. Now I'm not disparaging Delphine. She's a sweet young lady. But even sweethearts can be swayed by the allure of power over another human being. You show me an honourable woman and I'll show you a liar. Right after I sell you a magical hair tonic and the deed to Dragon Bridge. Oh, I don't mean to poke fun. You're young. You're supposed to believe in things that aren't real. Growing up is a process, child. One way you gradually learn to disbelieve. Although, if you get too old like me, you start disbelieving in things that are actually real. Delphine said my only responsibility was to be myself. Seeing as I love food and have had a lifelong feud with dust, I mostly cook and clean. I did as much for Einathach when I was staying in Carthwaston, small town to the north of here. Used to be a big town before all the business with the Forsworn. It'll take some time. But it'll grow back, like a lizard's tail, or an Argonian's. If I had a tail, I'd put a little bow on it. I could use it to sweep too, like having three arms and eyes in the back of your head. I'm glad you're here too. And if you don't mind putting a good word for me with Esben, I'd appreciate it. He thinks highly of you, and I of him. Oh, it was a terrible oath. It was given to me by a priest of Mara who asked me if I wanted to be bound in love now and forever. There was no whispering, but there was trickery all the same particularly when it came to the word bound. My husband at the time used this word quite liberally. He bound my wrists and ankles and bound me to the bed too. 
All in the name of love. And then we <laughs> Well, there were shackles, whips, tongues, collars, cuffs, chains, gags, and muzzles. Pokers, prodders, pincers, rods, ropes, and scrolls of paralysis. <coughs> Most of all, there was pain. Lots and lots of pain. That's what I get for marrying an imperial torturer. But he had the kindest eyes. It really was a shame what happened to him at Helgen, but at least he died doing what he loved. Then where's your funny hat? You can't make people laugh without a funny hat. People will think they've come to watch a serious drama otherwise. I don't mean to be rude, but when you're my age, there's a lot of yourself to tell, and you're likely to fall asleep halfway through telling it. If I had to sum my existence up in a neat little recipe, I'd say I'm one ounce of grit, two teaspoons of optimism, and a dash of stubbornness. Not stubborn the way Esbern is about his beliefs, although I do find that attractive in some men usually the handsome ones. But I'm only stubborn when it comes to habits. Can't give them up, which can be a problem, depending on the habit. For instance, I used to grind my back teeth like some helpless schoolmer addict. But now I don't. Mostly on account of them falling out. That's how you kick a bad habit. It's like if you want to stop a horse. You ride it faster and faster until it drops dead. Not that I'd recommend ever riding horses. Never, I repeat, never trust anything that sleeps standing up. Nothing, dearie. Nothing at all. Incidentally, I've already changed the sheets and prepared the beds. So if you want to slip into one, be my guest. Unless, of course, you're more comfortable as you are now. Standing. Tell me, how is it that the Kajits have all the fur and we Nords have skin? Elsewhere is a bloody desert and this place is all snow. It's backwards, I tell you. A conspiracy. There's reason enough to make me think the Divines hate us. Don't tell that to me. Tell that to the Divines the next time you pray at one of their altars. If only they were more helpful. They'll just try and cure you of disease, even though you ain't got one. Like a bunch of idiot alchemists, all nine of them. Kynareth, why haven't you given rain to my crops? Well, I don't know. How about I cure your diseases and we call it even? Mara, will I ever find true love? Probably not, but at least I can cure whatever that bandit gave you last night. Oh, they mean well. But good intentions are like having children. They never quite turn out the way you want. Good greetings, sword. You're still a sword, aren't you? Blade? Same thing. something? Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave their old life behind and stay here from now on. Very well. She seems like a fighter to me. I'll give her the oath. If you find any more candidates, bring them here. 
You there. The Dragonborn wishes to give you the chance to join the Lost Guardians of Tamriel. The Dragon Slayers. The Blades. Do you wish to become a Blade? I do. Are you willing to trade away all claims and titles of your former life? To live here and devote yourself to protecting Tamriel from danger? I do. Then by my right as Acting Grandmaster, I name you a Blade, with all the privileges, rights, and burdens that brings. Godspeed. By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. Dragonborn, what do you need? <laughs> 